welcome to Lines on Design. I'm Debbie Lines. I am here with our dear friend, Sterling Height, Floors by Sterling. And today we're going to be talking about carpet. We've talked about wood, we've talked a little bit about installation, and I have to tell you that last week I came in and talked to Sterling and said, okay, I need help now, I need some carpet. And what proceeded to happen was I got an education and I feel like I'm a fairly informed consumer. So we thought it might be fun to take the day today and just do sort of a, a, a primer, if you will, about carpet, starting with basics. And um, Sterling recommend, I think it's a great idea, we're gonna start with um, kind of a reasonably priced carpet and then work our way up. But I'm going to hush now and let you begin. Let's talk a little bit about carpet as a product, <laughs> as, whoop, as a product and really as a commodity and um, go from here. Okay, well this is a, an inexpensive nylon carpet. It's got a little fleck in it. Okay. Uh, a lot of our uh, people that you see advertising on, in the newspaper We'll sell carpet by the square foot. Since I've been selling carpet for so long, I, I'm staying with the square yard. Oh, wait a minute, square foot. So when I see things advertised for like two and three dollars a square foot, I think I'm thinking square yard. Mm -mm, you're thinking square foot and you gotta multiply it times nine. Okay. And nine times two is 18 a yard. And there are a lot of products we can put in for that kind of money and they're nice products. Okay. Um, you know, this is a frise nylon and got the, you know, just a basic six mm -hmm. colors. This is great for a, a short term rental home. Uh, okay. Uh, kids bedrooms, uh, the whole house. You know, it's, it's a good wearing carpet. It's gonna take care of it, it'll, it'll last a long time. It's a shawl carpet, it's mm -hmm. a frise. One of the things that you and I talk about and you taught me was um, the fact that there is a speck in this makes it, and the word that he uses all the time is forgiving. Mm -hmm. What does that really mean? Well, I mean, you're, you're not a slave to the carpet. I mean, it's the same yarn, the same carpet, and the white. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, a lot of people swear by white carpet. They love it, and it, and it, and it goes great. But uh, I think just like a, a pair of pants, uh, you know, your dark pants, you could probably wear every day for a month. There you, you know? go. <laughs> and if they were white, you know, they'd go in the washing machine tonight. And, so. and that, is, that really is the truth. Mm -hmm. As far as maintenance with a nylon carpet, what does that mean? What does that look like? Well, you just got to keep it vacuumed. Okay. You got a spill on it. You want to blot it and get it out. Uh, try not to use too much soap in the carpet, or not use any soap. Most mm -hmm. of these yarns today, you don't need soap. Just the water will will get most stains out of there. But if you do use soap, make sure you get it rinsed real well because the soap's sticky and you're, you know, you get dirty quicker. Okay. Next. So this is a, a, a really reasonable mm -hmm. one. Here, I'll sit this over here. I'll be and, Vanna. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the same vein i mean is a little bit nicer uh carpet see i think that's really pretty you know, this is going to be you know again this is you know five or six dollars a yard more than the other okay. comes in a lot Look more color colors. a lot of neutrals yes. uh, -huh. uh another thing to think about is the width of the carpet oh uh carpet traditionally used to be all 12 but today you can get different widths and a lot of times when we're measuring a house uh a 15 foot will do a lot better. So it's, it's a good way to go. Well, talk to me then as we're talking about different carpets and what they're made of and price point, talk to me about installation because I know that that is a huge thing. Well, I think it's the most important thing is, you know, there's, if you look in the yellow pages, there are a lot of people that sell carpet. Okay. And I think the main thing that we've got to sell service is the guys who power stretch the carpet. If you're putting a Berber in, they seal mm -hmm. the seams. Uh, they know where to put the seams. You know, if you're replacing your carpet, you want some guys coming to your house that you feel good about. Well, that's true too. That's yeah. true too. And I know that. And, and see, I can sp I can do testimonial now because this. I mean, literally a week ago, your guys came in. They moved furniture. They moved beds. They stretched the carpet. They did. I mean, it was it was amazing. And I think what impressed me the most was my house was left probably better than when you all came. And I don't think I am particularly unusual in hearing those kinds of positive things. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, mm -hmm. everything is, is the labor. You know, we've got good guys that we've worked with for, for a long time, mm -hmm. and they're gonna power stretch, they're gonna do it mm -hmm. right, they're gonna put the seams where they ought to be, and they're gonna take care of your valuables, your stuff. Let me say, let me ask you this, what is the average life of a carpet? What can I expect? Does it relate to the price point? Is it more in how I take care of it? I think take care of it. Okay. Because I, I guess the I will sound like a, a a used product salesman, but I've seen little old ladies mm -hmm. with very inexpensive carpet. It's twenty years old. It looks great. Mm -hmm. I've seen really expensive. And I'm a carpet. little old lady. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen you know, real expensive carpet. A year okay. old is shot. 
Okay. So it's, it, you got to take care of it. All right. So what you got here? All right. Here is a, an Olefin Berber. Okay. A little different look. I like that look. Lots of colors. Mm -hmm. This, if you've got a place you're going to have a lot of spills, it's real easy to scrub this. Okay. You just get a white rag. And the reason I say get a white rag, you can tell if the spill's coming off, your rag's getting dirty. Okay. You know, you can scrub this carpet. The first two carpets we looked at, you really got to be careful because if you just scrub it too hard, you'll take the twist out of it. Okay. Now, when you, t you said a word, um, you talking about the first couple carpets, and I wonder about this, blot. What does that mean? Well, blot is you just take water and you blot the stain. If I you take water and do that? Water and just blot it. And, it's, and then sometimes if it's, you can even take a, a brick or some heavy books and put on top of it. And it'll kind of, the heavy weight with the white cloth. I always, I always say use a white cloth. Right. But something light, because if the stain's coming off the carpet, it's going to be on know. the cloth. You okay. You'll, you'll All see right. it. Okay. And then do you recommend just using warm water and soap? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'd be easy on the soap. Okay. Just just the water as much as you can. And Am I even allowed? I probably don't even want to go here in this segment to talk sometime about carpet cleaning. Is that mm -hmm. something that you... Well, I'm not a carpet cleaner, but I do know that, that spots are, you know. Okay. Now, you put one away there. I'm going to ask you to pull it back out. Okay, there. which one now? The, the, that one, the big oh, one. Oh, I put there. one away without showing yeah. it. Oh, my bad. And I like this one, too. <laughs> You know, as, as we go up a little bit in price, there are okay. a couple of things that you, you want to look for. Mm -hmm. uh, like this carpet has what we call softback. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's power stretched properly, uh, you'll get a 10-year guarantee that it won't get a wrinkle. Oh, that's huge. Uh, and probably for the life of the carpet, it won't get a wrinkle. The other nice thing about it is there's nothing scratchy on the back to scratch a baseboard. Wow. You know, builders love that because of some of the... The carpet backings are like sandpaper. Exactly. And what's nice about this is it really looks like a natural fiber to me. It looks like what you're going to show like right this. now, which I love, this which is, is the seagrass. Yep. And that's that's what it's out there for. It's it's a it's a big seller, and, and, and I think mm -hmm. all of your any carpet store you go in would have something similar to that. But it's a, it's a good carpet. Now talk to me a little bit about seagrass and sisal, though. Um, a natural fiber is what? Just that? That's what it is. Okay. It's, this is cultivated in a, in a, a rice paddy but mm -hmm. with a sea, you know, seagrass, a grass paddy. Okay. And uh, it's made into carpet. It's got a hard finish. It's a great for area rugs as well as wall to wall. I see it a lot in commercial applications mm -hmm. too. Does it hold up? What yeah. about from a maintenance point of view? Oh, it's great. You is can it? You can wash it. The one thing is uh, you have to watch the humidity. You wouldn't put it outside. Okay. Because, uh, you know, it's like the, a natural fiber mold could grow on this, which it wouldn't on a regular carpet. Well, and one of the things that we've been talking about are wall-to-wall are -wall carpets, wall-to-wall -wall seagrass and things like that. But, gosh, what a great way to um, to also do a really fun rug. Yep. And that's what I've, I've done, and I've seen yep. you do a lot with these rugs. And they have the coolest borders, or you can take um, a fabric that's in your room, and it's very complimentary mm -hmm. to that. You know, um, we were talking about shag this morning. Yeah, he's got to show us the shag because that's pretty cool. Well, this is really, you know, it could be, I guess, anywhere, uh -huh. contemporary or, or traditional, but I, I, I'm thinking more contemporary. What, yeah. what do you think? Yeah. I do, too, but, I, but I, I just recently have used it in a transitional house, and it really kind of lifted up some of the heavier mm -hmm. furniture. I love it. Yeah, this can make a, a, a really great looking rug and it's inexpensive and, and we make a lot of rugs for people. I mean, we don't sell Orientals, really, but... Uh, Flip it around, though, look at the colors are really fun. And if you want something in a real hot color, they're available mm -hmm. that way as well. Now, talk to me about maintenance when you when it comes to a shag like this. Well, you got to watch the vacuum cleaner you're using. Okay. Because if it's got a beater bar, it could it could start pulling tufts out. So what do I do? Well, you need a rake, and you probably uh, need an extension uh, on your little hose where it doesn't okay. have a beater bar, okay. whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah, that. that's I don't exactly know. right. A hose thing where it doesn't have a beater. <laughs> but a rake does what? Just keeps it. Well, a rake it. just you know say if you you know if if you've got a traffic pattern, if the room gets a lot of traffic, a mm -hmm. rake kind of stand it up. Um, I saw one a long time ago. A lady did her whole house in it, and she was able to find a, a, a shag rake. And uh, people my age know about uh, shag, oh, yeah, rakes, I know but, shag rakes, but, but a lot of that. other people don't. So anyway. And again, we're kind of going up in price point, so you can see that that there's there are differences, but you know there's something for everyone and something for every home. Mm -hmm. Again, I love to use uh, less expensive carpet in my kids' rooms, in the playrooms, where I know there's going to be a mess, mm -hmm. and then in the um, master bedroom and some of the other focal point areas, really go crazy with some of these gorgeous things. Well, next up in gorgeous is just a really, See, I love this. really, yes. really tight, mm -hmm. velvety nylon. Comes in a lot of pretty colors. Um, same kind of thing here. Okay. Just, just uh, you know, expensive carpets, but but a great if you you know if you got a master bedroom, just uh, mm -hmm. 
the special. What makes a finer carpet a finer carpet? Is it the density? The density it... and the tightness of the, the twist. Okay. You know, the, the tighter the twist, and they make it out of different kinds of nylon. Mm -hmm. you know, some nylons are softer than others. Is nylon um, typically what is, it's nylon, wool, olefin? And polyester. Okay, and polyester. And then uh, DuPont has a new uh, yarn, Sonora, okay. which is it's kind of derivative, but it's a nice yarn. It'd be a great carpet for somebody who's really concerned about spills. Let me ask you this, because this is a gorgeous carpet and not an inexpensive carpet, so it would be perfect for a master. If cost is no object, and I really have a couple of areas that I want to um, make the best they can be, really special, really individualized. Well, we've got some wools here that will knock you to your knees. I love it. <laughs> and that's a good thing. Right. <laughs> Look uh, at this. Yeah, this is woven in there. That's not printed. I don't know Look if you can this. really see that on TV here. I don't know if you can see the dimension. It's very three-dimensional. It almost looks like these are appliqued on, but they're mm. woven in. And this is all wool, and, and uh, obviously you, mm. it's very Gorgeous. rare we sell some of this, but if, if you're looking for something really slick, mm -hmm. you know, you know, thank goodness we have it. Well, and I think one of the things about you that sets you apart is you really do run the gamut. Um, there is something for every home and every mm -hmm. home owner. And what I love about coming into your cast of characters is that you're not afraid to take us kind of on a tour, if you will, and educate us as well. I mean, it's really important. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful one, too. Yeah, similar kind of thing. It's uh, just, uh, again, nothing that you sell every day, but mm -hmm. it's I just like for people to know that it's here. Oh, you it's know? wonderful. Yeah. Well, we really are grateful. Again, Lines on Design is, is meant to be fun, but it's also a great place to learn. If you have any questions about, we just meant to tease you in this. So if you have any questions, call Sterling, call, call Floors by Sterling. Um, you can definitely get the answer that you want. Thank you all. Stay with us. There's a lot more to come here on Lines on Design. on design and we have gone from the uh, beautiful showroom and now we're in a real live installation. What we're doing here is we are going to be talking about renovations and what you can do in a simple villa. Um, you know we talked about high end, low end, all the different kinds of things we can do. From a flooring standpoint this is a villa that's being gutted. It's got some great flooring right now. It's got carpet I think that we just tore up Mm -hmm. We did good, yes, didn't yes, we? Yes, you did very good. And this is on a cement slab. Cement slab, okay. It has some wood floors, but we're thinking we really want to do something a little bit different. Um, that is middle price point. We mm -hmm. don't want anything that is uh, super, super ex um, expensive. We are going to do a couple of the rugs, but really we want great maintenance. There are lots of kids that are going to be cruising through this particular unit. Mm -hmm. So whatever we want to do, we want to make sure that it will last. And again, I think some people, uh, it's tough to make that decision to really bite the bullet and do it. So I'm going to turn it to you because what are your recommendations? Like, let's talk first this main area, if you will. Well, you know, I think, you know, there's a, a beautiful beach out the window there and there's going to be a lot of sand coming in here. Uh -oh. so, and But there's also going to be a lot of spills and, and I think, uh, the new owners of, of this place want to do something that's really easy to take care of, yep, clean, clean they up do. wise. They do. Something they can clean very easily. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we're talking about uh, something in an engineered uh, wood, maybe tile or a, a laminate. And, okay. and, and I think, of course, a lot of that. Uh, has to do with the owner's taste, what, what look they like. Well, you know? we talked about doing stone at the beginning, but they felt like that might be a little bit too cold. And then mm -hmm. I think we actually, I, we actually came in and mm -hmm. talked to you about doing wood and some of the pros and cons of doing wood versus a laminate floor. Mm -hmm. We did, and, and I think we're kind of leaning towards bamboo right now. And there, there's a lot of different Love qualities that. of bamboo, just like there are a lot of different qualities in carpet. And okay need to look for. Uh, some of them are, are 
made different ways and make them harder. Mm -hmm. um, some are, are have a pretty thick wear layer so they can be refinished several times, you know, three or four times, which mm -hmm. is a good thing, especially with, again, because we know it's going to get sand in, up here. And we know that, uh, you know, we don't want to go too light. Okay. That was the thing I was going to ask you. I know that we're going for sort of a restoration hardware pottery barn look. So we don't really want, when I think of bamboo, I, I always think of just the natural color bamboo. Are there other mm -hmm. options that we can oh, have? Oh, yeah. They, they, really? You can get stained bamboo. Uh, one I, that I think that we're kind of leaning to is okay. what, what they call a woven strand bamboo. And uh, where it's going to have the, the, a darker color. Mm -hmm. um, in the in the product it's it's kind of what they call it's cooked to make it darker so, so that the it, through the heat and it they actually put it in a vat okay and, and make it into, into into flooring and um do you have a sample yes i do did you bring one i want to see i'd love to see that uh, yeah, this is showing different strand bamboos and too light don't you think yeah this is the one that i think we're, we're Let me leaning see. more to all right because i know the look like i said is that like this one right here? Mm -hmm. I think that'll look good. And if you could catch it, I don't know if the camera can show it, but if I you like look that. at it, you know, the color is all the way through that product. Okay. If you can kind of catch there, the edge yeah, of it. Yeah, look in there. That's cool. Uh huh. And so as, as you get gouges, and, and it's not like a stained floor, where if you, you gouge it real deep gouge, you got a different color underneath there. Okay. Uh, in this case, the color goes all the way through. Um, where so. should I put it, Sterling? Do I take it all the way through here? I would love to do it in the kitchen. What do you think? Be fine. You think through the dining room in here? Well, I think you should do it everywhere so we can sell you a whole lot of we, it. You know? Exactly. Okay, uh, so so you don't have a problem no. with taking it in through the bathrooms and everything like that? I mean, bathrooms. I think maybe tile would be okay, better for so bathrooms. Okay, so do tile in there. But okay. I think everywhere else can certainly you know use this floor. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. excited, and and it'll it'll last. What about maintenance mm -hmm. for this guy? Well, it's got a polyurethane finish, so you just basically you know vacuuming it or, or mopping it or using a Swiffer with a with a good cleaner okay. on, on the Swiffer. Um, you, you just want to make sure that you don't get it too far gone where it starts getting beat up because we can screen the top of the floor and put another coat of urethane on the floor. Okay. We can refinish the floor. You really uh, can't really change the color because it's, it's going all the way through the floor. But uh, you can sand this floor down and redo it. So this floor ought to be in this villa for a long time. And that's the point. If I'm going to go ahead and put the dollars into it, like we talked about mm -hmm. before, get the best bang for your buck, that does make a lot mm -hmm. of sense. I like the idea of bamboo. That's something we really hadn't talked about. It's kind of different. I mean, so you're kind of, your idea is sometimes kind of different. Uh, so there you go. I was wondering how he was going to segue into that. You know, this is kind of different and you're kind of, mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be, <laughs> well, will you come back? And then when the product is being installed, because what we're going to try to do is actually show you the floor right now, and then we're going to take you through some of these bedrooms and show you what we've done, and then we'll come back and show you the finished product. Let's walk into the bedroom. I want to talk about working on a concrete slab. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sterling, we are here and we are in one of the bedrooms, and um, we had a pull up the carpet party last week. One of the things that I'm interested in that I know nothing about is slab, Cement, what are the different underneath surfaces that I have to worry about when I'm doing any kind of flooring? Well, I mean, basically it's either concrete or it's wood. Okay. Um, and you've got to make sure that the concrete is sound. Uh, in some places, not here, this is a good solid concrete floor, but some okay. places they'll use gypcrete, which, is, uh, which can peel up, kind of be like sand. I mean, the main thing for us, uh, we're going to glue this new floor down to the slab. Okay. And we've got to make it level. And when we come back to lay the floor... See, I wondered about some of these. You know, we've got to get any paint, sheetrock, mud off the floor. Because okay. that's going to... And, and, and I didn't know what to do with all this junk. Yeah, you know, that's all got to come off. We'll scrape okay. it off. And, okay. Uh, but it's got to be smooth. And then the other thing, it's got to be level. Because mm -hmm. uh, if we took that board and, and put it between two cinder... I mean, put it between two cinder blocks, it's going to move. Well, the same oh. thing when we get a floor down, if we don't make it level, you know, the boards aren't going to bend to the contours of the floor. So we've got to make the, the floor as flat as we can. Mm -hmm. And because we don't want hollow spots. We don't want to, you walk across the floor and it sound one way over here and a different way over there. Oh, I never even thought uh, about that. So, you know, but that's basically it. You just got to, 
What about looking at the baseboard and things like that? It, it, is it different if I'm choosing wood versus carpet? How yes, thick, how thin? How, do you? Well, the main thing here is we'll, we'll use a, a, a three quarter round and we and it's, this baseboard is fine. We've got to make sure that we've got at least a half inch gap because even though this floor is engineered somewhat, it's going to move with the humidity. Okay. And since we're sitting there with the Atlantic yeah, Ocean so right pretty. in front of there, there's some humidity. What, it, what does engineered really mean? Does it? Well, it's in some cases it's veneered and the floor we're looking at, it's actually uh, stranded, so it's it's but it's 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 put together. It's not okay. like a solid floor where you just cut a piece of wood. Okay. Now, if I were doing carpet again, would you glue that down also? No, we'd probably put we put the tack strips back down that you okay. took up, uh -huh. and we would. Uh, and see, carpet's pretty forgiving. You usually don't have to worry about how level the floor is. You don't have to worry about whether it's got paint on it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's you can go over it. Um, in some commercial jobs, you do glue it down. In that case, you, you know, it's got to be a lot smoother than probably with a, with a carpet. If I would consider doing carpet in here, because right now we're thinking about doing the bamboo, mm -hmm. what do I need to consider for that? Would, would it be a pad that I do? Oh, yeah. You definitely do a pad. And, and do you glue uh, that down? Well, you just spot glue it. You can, can you see here where they've got the yeah, little... Yeah, I do, uh, actually. Remember when yeah. you were a kid and you were pasting a piece of paper on, yes. a, on a piece yeah. of cardboard? Mm -hmm. It's the same kind of idea. Okay. You just, just get into it because you don't want the pad to slip. It doesn't need to be glued down, but if you don't have something under there, when they put the carpet on it, you might get a gap. What is the advantage, or why why are some foundation cement some wood? Is it is Just, there is there method to the madness? Well, here uh, it's it's fire and and, and the the oh it's strength yeah we're the on building. the fifth floor yeah. exactly. Uh, but here's the strength because you're up what we're on the fifth floor yeah, I think fifth floor. so I mean it's mm -hmm. got to all be concrete got all the steel in there and I'm not a builder. Okay. You know, <laughs> but that's but, exactly you know. what does it make your job more difficult when you come into a place like this? Well, sometimes you know, it just and it doesn't matter what the cost of the project, whether we're putting carpet in a in a eighty thousand dollar house or a two million dollar house. Mm -hmm. You know, the slab can be real good in some cases. In some cases, the three million dollar house can have a really wavy slab. You know? And I know we're going to be putting bamboo again throughout this, so I don't really have to worry about transition areas through doorways. What would I do in the case of doing like a bamboo and then transitioning to a tile or mm -hmm. to um, carpet. Carpet, you really don't have to worry about it unless you had a really, really flat weave. Okay. It would would be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that. We do want that gap everywhere for expansion. Gotcha. So if we've got tile, we they make a molding to match the floor that we would kind of give us a little gap okay. where the two come together. Oh, this is going to be fun. I tell you what, we're going to do the next time we see you. Yeah, you'll you'll be loving this. We'll have um, some of your guys in here that will be installing, and I think that'll be kind of a fun process. I really look forward to it. I think it's. To be honest, it's one of those things where I like to do this. Oh, look, <laughs> flooring done, because there's quite a uh, technique to that. And then again, we'll come back and we will see the finished product. Thank you, Sterling, thank and thank you. you all for joining us on Lines on Design.